No, are you talking about the one that just happened? <clears throat> no, uh, excuse me, I thought you meant the one that kills the whole raid group. No, no, <clears throat> that, that blue circle? That's what I was talking about. Oh, alright. No, uh, the reason why I said the barge is because he has no specific yeah, wait for, wait for... anybody. It don't matter, we got it. Let the break. Let break that shit. He's dead. Well, Alright, good job you guys. Go take the oh. before we uh, start ultimate. Fucking boss took the whisker, man. Boss, you have the All whisker. Right. Now put that shit on the marker board. Alright, the bow. <laughs> Hard weapon, I mean, yep. I mean, put that whisker on the marker board. That's what worth a couple thousand. Or something, I'd have to decide. Didn't he uh, it until Trick said something? Oh. oh, yeah, just give it to me. You know, it's okay. <laughs> Sounds like I, something. I'll give you some gold for it. You know, uh -huh. Compensation. So let me check the market oh. board real quick and I'll undercut for you. <laughs> I'll undercut for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back in five, yo. Yeah, same here. I'm gonna have to spawn. I'm gonna go do something. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Alright, yeah, I'll be right back. Sell for 44 k, uh, k, man. What you telling me is I'm gonna oh, make some money. Bad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Money, money, money. And it's not gonna be the last time we farm Google. Once Romana unlocks it, his Rukaku phase, we'll farm it again. Plus, yeah, the like Google weapons Oscar, are pretty yeah, decent weapon around. to get. I mean, oh. just for kids, right? Yeah, I'm trying to uh, set up the schedule to fit all you guys today. Apparently, um, <clears throat> I, have, I have two days off this week, so I'm going to try and throw in another two days this week to do something. Or to keep raiding. If I have one day off uh, that week, or whatever week it is that I work, then it'll probably be only two days. But no matter what, I will always try to set up two raid days. Gosh. Yo, Zero, you work at the Rio Hotel, man? Hell no. Oh, yeah, because that's where they're having the Final Fantasy uh, uh, festival. Is that where the Fest is? Yeah. I was like, yo, you can just fucking... Let's go, I'm breaking, go meet with, like, the directors or something. I don't know. Oh, right. No. I work fucking out in the middle of fucking nowhere, dude. Oh, I see. Close to, like, Red Rock and shit. You live in Vegas? No, North Cal. I just know about that hotel because they told, they uh, said where the thing's gonna be. Yeah, dude, uh, it's like October 17th through the 19th. The tickets are what? I, I forgot how much they said tickets. It's like 100. But uh, they just sent out the first batch of tickets, and I heard they went in like 30 minutes, dude. Like, the site was so fucking overflow with people trying to fuck. Yo, I woke up 45 minutes later to check Twitter, and really? there was like 25 tickets still on sale. I, I didn't want to do it because hotel would be expensive at uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, you'd be spending more money on the hotel, dude. Yeah. Unless you have a uh, fucking 
awesome deal. But no, I hear they sold really quick. The first batch of tickets is what I'm talking about. The oh, first yeah. batch that came out like a few weeks ago. But uh, no, I would go. But where I work, they have uh, there's Oktoberfest, and it's the whole month of October, and they dress up the whole fucking town. Or for Halloween, and, and my manager was like, dude, you can expect to be working double that the ass. We even rent you motel rooms for free if you don't want to go home, you know? Well, October's gonna probably look real. <sighs> I mean, I'll make my, I'll make decent money, that's for sure. But, you know, you can't scare me with money, dude. But, fuck, dude. I hate the restaurant industry, man. Yeah. That's what my brother works in. Well, I got out of it. I went to school for a uh, logistics technician. But apparently, none of the places out here are hiring for that. So, and I need a little bit more money before I can go out. Sooner or later, though, I'll be in the field that I want to be. This is just something to give me a try. I'm trying to do right now myself is get to the field I want to be in. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tricky, you said uh, you got a monk on another server, right? Yeah, on uh, Marlboro. Uh, I'm smoking a Marlboro right now. <laughs> uh, what brings you to uh, Bahamut? You just wanted to start new, or all your friends uh, are here? Well? Uh, Big Boss played. Uh, was uh, he posted a screenshot on Steam and I saw he was on. Then I looked his character up and he was on this server. So then I just transferred my oh, first account. Are you character. talking about Dia? No. Uh, uh, me. I, Sapphire. Being tricky and frosty and a bunch of other people used to be in a clan that played Team Fortress 2. If you know what that is. Oh, of course I do. And it ended. I don't know. We. You guys just everybody Steam fans in, huh? Oh yeah, I have a Steam account with about 150 games on it. But uh, we got kind of tired of the leader and kicked him to the curb. I opened a TeamSpeak server and everybody that hung around has been playing shit with me since then. There's a lot more of us, but the rest of them don't really play MMOs like I do. They play, we play Dota, I play Dota with them quite a bit. I just picked this up as something else to do. I like MMOs. Yeah, no, I was already playing, so I was like, cool, I should restart my account, because it's summer. Yeah, hell, this is just me and oh, Tricky, I haven't man. talked to each other in like, what, I don't think I've spoke to you in about a year, Tricky, I ain't even seen you around, and now y'all, now yeah. you're here again. <laughs> yeah, you and your screenshot. Oh, welcome, guys, welcome, I'm glad to have you, man. Yeah, I'm happy I found a group as fast as I did to actually do stuff with. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're, we're trying to build our foundation. We're trying just to get us, you know, very structured and stuff so we can get more things going, you know. We only have, me and Oscar are the only ones running it, you know. That's why I, you know. Everybody got to start somewhere. Yeah, uh, I remember though back in the days in like high school, I used to be a big Counter-Strike fan. Oh yeah, that's that's still big. It amazes me how many people still play the old one, and there's a new really? one. Really? People still play Source? Source is still one of the most played games on the internet. I believe it's still in the top 20. Yeah, I'm back, yeah. Let me know the Yeah. That never gets old, though. Source is a shit. If I if I just had my PC, I'd be I'd still play it, dude. Yo, uh, DNR doing our main star quest real quick. Uh, Robostun. Huh? Dia and I are doing the star quest real quick. Uh, we're almost done. Yeah, we're still waiting on this tick, and I'm smoking right now. Um, we'll just go ahead and do ultimate uh, three times or four if you want, and then we'll call it a night. And in all in all seriousness, it's probably gonna take about 15 minutes. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean the rules are popping pretty quick, so I mean you never know. Austin. Yeah, but nobody wants to do multiple. My 80s. I'm to be honest, I'm surprised people still wanted to do Moogle hard. Hey man, the whiskers. People want them whiskers. For uh, houses. Yeah, that's true, man. I, I didn't realize the whiskers dropped here. 
Uh, I didn't even know what those were until you said something. That's cool, though. Yeah, we have a way to earn fun. some money, Oscar, for our myth. Well, they, the whiskers drop from both the extreme and the hard mode. Just, uh, one is worth more than the other. Crafting a item on that Okay. Well, I mean, if I get any whiskers, Oscar, uh, from any of our future, uh, hard mode attempts or farms, I'll definitely sell them and put it towards our mid hub. Yeah, please. Same thing with the uh, Danport Keep. Yeah, the uh, item you got from there that sold for 70k, dude. Shit. And it actually sold. That's the worst part about that. I should say, of course, it's the best part about that. It's actually sold. I didn't think it was actually going to sell. Boca Cho the Chocobo. Then we got Feather over here. Hey, I was thinking, uh, I get paid tomorrow, Oscar. How much do our keyboards cost? Depends on, on how good of you won you want. Yeah. Well, I just want a decent one for, you know, all I'm gonna do is use it for is like for the PS4 for, for typing and shit. Yeah, man, you could, you could Now, do they actually have, like, PS4 keyboards? Oh, it's set the stairs. Oh, I, I, I think you can probably just plug up any standard USB keyboard to it and it'll right, work. Right, I know you can do that. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm just one of those guys that likes to get fucking, you know, all fucking decked out on the PS4. I recommend a backlit one if you sit around in a dark room a lot like I do. Okay, how much do uh, the, the backlits cost? I paid about $28 for mine. It's a cyborg. Okay, okay, well, I'm willing to spend no more than 40 on a fucking keyboard. So. Uh, well, a backlit with no macro buttons is about $20, $25. You ain't got to spend too much on that. It just really makes a difference unless you've got... Well, if you're real used to a keyboard, it might not matter to you. Uh, I'm pretty used to it now, but originally I wanted to be able to no see way, man. I in the dark. I haven't fucking used a keyboard in probably a couple of years now. Yeah. Well, then I'd, I'd recommend a backlit one. I, I sit in a dark room all day long. I don't I don't like light. <laughs> if I can help it, I like a dark room. How about the uh, Razer keyboards? Those are all uh, nice. Razors are pretty, uh, they're pretty hefty in price. I mean, they make backlit keyboards, but it's going to cost you a pretty penny just because of the name brand. Yeah, that's, that's kind of why I said it was, well, because I heard the name brand, uh, brand's pretty popular. I mean, like I, a, I have a like Razor mouse, a Sony but, television. Uh, You're going to pay an extra grand I mean, I'm not going to go spend 60 fucking dollars on a fucking, you know, Hey, it ain't worth spending sixty dollars on a keyboard unless you're someone who's playing in something that requires fifteen macro buttons or something, and you're actually going to use them all. Yes. And I play Dragoon, so I mean, I fucking I have no macros. I have one macro. Yeah. Macro seems like a. a console thing to me. On PC, it's no problem for me to go through all the skills quickly. Yeah, it is well, pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, even when I played World of Warcraft on my rogues, I never used the macro. What's up, guys? Cue us up, Oscar. In the field. And we're just waiting for those two tanks. How do you mark enemies in a dungeon? Like, what do you press to put the one and the two and the three above their head? Um, I use the macro for that to be with you. But, uh, me, on a controller, I press square, and then I go down to mark. Or, I mean, like, I use a macro, it's just slash MK uh, attack. Yeah. 
I want to know how to do it on a keyboard. <laughs> yeah. On a keyboard, I think you just have.